What's going on everybody? This is Gerard with ModelCigars.com and I have something really cool to share with you guys today. So to start off, in 2016, Cohiba turned 50 years and to celebrate its 50 year anniversary, they came out with this cigar called the Mais Tuoso. The Mais Tuoso, um, 1966, that meaning that Cohiba was founded in 1966, they came out with a humidor that had 20 cigars in it. It's a beautiful packaging and it's called the Maestuoso 1966 and it was numbered up to 1,966 humidors. Now, if you can get your hands on one of these bad boys, um, be ready to pay anywhere between 14 and sixteen thousand dollars. As a matter of fact, the humidor that's numbered number one, I believe, it got auctioned off to about three hundred thousand dollars if not i think it was three hundred thousand euros so that just gives you an idea how precious of a collector piece this is so with that being said also if you went to the gala festival and uh, also attended the dinner i do believe they were also handing out gift bags and cohiba was definitely the theme around the whole entire festival of 2016 because it had turned 50 years so being lucky enough i got my hands on one of the gift sets and what included in that was the shadow box that included every single band in it it gave <coughs> set also a lighter and a cutter and then i got the little box that has the two cigars of the mais tuoso now since then i've had this in my possession i've been just you know not looking at it just been in a bag in a humidor just every once in a while open the cigars make sure there are no beetles inside and it wasn't damaged so recently i was on a phone conversation with a friend of mine and somehow some way this guy convinced me to sell him my shadow box. So I'm going to show it to you guys what it is. It's uh, the shadow box comes in a beautiful uh, magnetic enclosure box and it has the um, the history of the Cohiba that's been written in English and also in Spanish. And then once you open it, which I have done that already to prepare for the video is this beautiful shadow box. And I'm going to get a little closer to the camera so you guys can kind of see that every single band that has gone through the generational changes is inside this shadow box, including the Behike. As you guys can see, the first one is the original 1966 Cohiba band. So this shadow box is being shipped out today to my friend. He convinced me, um, not beating myself up too much up over it, but uh, nevertheless to say, it's, it's a truly bummer. And then the cutter and lighter, which I've never used, never touched other than open and just display it like this is um, as far as it's ever gone. So the lighter and the cutter was also included. Now the part that really gets me and I don't think I want to part with and is this little tiny box right here. This little box has the date and the manufacturing code which is February 16. And these cigars have been in my possessions ever since then and inside that box is this beautiful little lacquered Cohiba Maestuoso 1966. So when you open this bad boy, um, I have it packaged with a little bit of bubble wrapping because I didn't want it to damage the foot or the cap of the cigar because I got these shipped to me from Europe. So each one of these cigars right now, the market value is $750. And um, oh God, do I want to smoke it. And I don't have any words to really describe what's going through me right now. Yes, that is a lot of money. Um, I know it's only just a cigar, but to really cut and light a $750 stick um, is very, very difficult because the replacement issue. To replace these cigars, I'll have to go and buy a humidor of the 20 cigars, and that's gonna cost me anywhere between 14 and $15,000. I'm not really sure if I'm ready to do that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to definitely smoke this cigar someday. I'm not really sure. Something's telling me it's gonna be pretty soon. And when I do that, I'm definitely gonna be uh, doing it over on our YouTube channel. So, if you have smoked the Mais Tuoso 1966, please let me know what you thought about it. I know there's a ton of reviews over the, all over the internet. But however, I wanna know if any of my viewers have had it and what you think about it and please put it in the comments other than that please tune in and then hit that subscribe button and join our Mardo cigar family thank you